Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and it is time for one of my favorite videos of the month, the Sheet Load Showcase. I hope you'll stick around and see what wonderful cards my collaborators created this month. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. I just love to stop by each month and share a look with you at the cards that my team of collaborators created using the latest sheet load of cards. Today, that is gonna be the June 2022 edition. This month, it was a joy fold or a fun fold sketch just like this. And if you followed the supply list and cutting guides, you would yield six cards from just three pieces of pattern paper and some card stock. I know that many of you have been loving the joy fold. I've been loving seeing what you created. Don't forget if you are going to share here on YouTube or over on Instagram and even TikTok now, if you use these hashtags at the top of the printable, I can check out and see what you've been creating. Now, if after watching the video today, you want to go get more information about any of the cards, or if you even haven't seen them yet, go check them out. You can use the hashtag in the title to see the videos here on YouTube. And then I also have an Instagram link in that description box below. I'm sure that you'll be inspired to go get some more views of these cards, and I know that my collaborators would love for you to stop by and leave them some love. In front of me here is the set that I made this month. Now, if you haven't yet downloaded the printable, I have the debut video linked in the description box below, and I give instructions how you can do that. It is a free printable, as long as you're a subscriber to my channel. And then if you wanna see how I made the first set and get a few tips along the way, I have the process video linked below as well. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at their cards? Before we look at those cards, I do have a special channel member shout out. I would like to say welcome and thank you to my newest paper trimmer level member, Brandy Cornish. Thank you so much for your support. I would also like to take this time to thank all of my channel members. Your monthly support keeps me creating here on YouTube and keeps Sheetload free for all. If you're ever interested in finding out more about the perks of channel membership, I do have a link in that description box below. First up today on the YouTube team is Beth of Bourbon Creek Crafts. She actually made two sheet loads this month. One was a beautiful wedding set and the other was an elegant graduation set. Amalia of Cool Cakes and Crafts with Amalia created this fun and bright set. I especially like how she has matted her sentiment strips. Deb of Project 39 Mini Albums created this cute set. I just love those little animals and that punny sentiment. Now sadly, this is Deb's last month on the team. She has decided to step down, but make sure to keep following her channel because she will keep sharing. Thank you so much, Deb, for all of your dedication and support over the years. Each of these cards by Karen Aiken has a special surprise inside. She used this month's fun fold to create gift card or money holders. Make sure to check out her video where she shares a little tutorial how she adapted the cards. Yvette of Yvette Olea Creates made a set of six cards that could be sent for lots of different occasions. I love those subtle colors on the pattern papers and how she decorated her sentiment strip with those cute little stamps. 
Danny of the Danny's Dreams channel has created this set of six beautiful cards. Loving those papers and those adorable little bees. So cute. Now, speaking of Danny, if you have not yet seen my latest crafty vlog, which was a crafty road trip, I hope that you will check it out. Last week, Danny and I set off from Omaha, Nebraska with a destination of Scrap Mania in Cedar Rapids in mind, and we stopped at a couple other places along the way. I will have the video linked in the description below and as a card up on the screen now. Teresa of Fresh and Renewed with Teresa also went with a bee theme. She has used some ephemera and papers from the latest Not Too Shabby kit for her cards. Up first on the Instagram team is Sandy, who is at Stamp with Sandy. She has created this beautiful set of For You cards. I'm loving those florals paired with kind of that watercolor wash paper. Jessica, who is at Jessie Kate Creates, has created this fun set of cards. It has a couple of my favorites rainbows and shakers. I just love how she has turned the front of that smaller card into an edge to edge or frameless shaker. So cute. Lisa, who is at Scrapbook Girl, created a set of kind of all occasion cards using the new sheet load. I love that kind of peachy orange combined with that green. At Craftaholic Mama, also known as Stacy, created this beautiful set of cards. I love those subtle colors and those cute little floral focal points. Barbara, who is at One Busy Bee, created this set of six gorgeous cards. I am loving the color combination and how she paired the floral with that striped paper. So cute and fun. And last, but certainly not least, is Noemi, who is at AZ Crafty on Instagram. You might recognize her cards from this month's thumbnail. I just fell in love with these Father's Day cards. The focal point with the trees and the wood grain, even kind of a wood slice actually, just really caught my eye. Wasn't that a wonderful display of cards? If you agree, which I'm pretty sure you do, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget, you can check out the links in the description box below to go get more close-ups or start following more artists. And until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.